Hi, and welcome back to another installment of the tour of the Church of St. Clair of Assisi in Santa Clarita, in which throughout this time of global pandemic, we're making sure to explain the significance of many different things within the church building so that you might learn something during this time and so that everybody remembers what we look like, because I think that's so important for us, especially at this time. Today, we're going to be talking about the baptismal font and the ambry. This is our baptismal font here at St. Clair's. The baptismal font here at St. Clair's has been designed to look very much like many of the fonts in the early church, in which a baptismal font was expected to be constructed to look something like a tomb. The reason for that is because a person would enter into the font, and the significance is that they were dying to sin. And then when they would be baptized and then come back up out of the font, it would represent the fact that they had risen to new life in Christ. So our baptismal font is designed for both the baptism of adults and of young children here at the basin. It is from this baptismal font that the holy water in the church comes from. So as in normal circumstances where we would have holy water at the fonts at all of the doors for the faithful to bless themselves with when they come into the church, that comes from the baptismal font, which the water is blessed every time we celebrate baptisms. That is so significant because we bless ourselves with holy water, making the sign of the cross when we walk into the church, as that reminder that it was through baptism we entered into the church. That is why we use the sign of the cross, because the words of the sign of the cross are the words of baptism. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So every time we look upon this font, whether it is for the celebration of a baptism, or when we walk in to celebrate any of the other sacraments, we are called to remember that it is through baptism we have died to sin, that we have risen to new life in Christ. And it is through baptism that we have entered into the church. And right next to the baptismal font is the ambry. The ambry is the container in which the sacred oils are kept for the celebration of the sacraments. Our holy oils are the oil of the catechumens, which is at baptism used to mark the chest before a baptism to mark someone who is going to be baptized. The oil of the sick, which is used for the anointing of the sick. And then the holy chrism, which is used for baptism, in which the person who has just been baptized will be anointed on the top of their head to show that they share in that vocation of Christ as priest, prophet, and king. It is also used in the celebration of the sacrament of confirmation, in which the person who is being confirmed will be anointed on the forehead to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And finally, it is also used in the cathedral at the celebration of the ordination to the priesthood, in which the person who is being ordained will have their hands anointed because they will be celebrating the sacraments of the Eucharist. And this is the moment in which they enter into the sacramental priesthood. So every time we look at the ambry, we are called to remember the importance of these sacraments, of baptism, confirmation, ordination, and the anointing of the sick. So it has special pride of place here as the ambry, proximate to the baptismal font, for the oil of the catechumen, and the sacred chrism, and also to remind us of that sacrament of the anointing of the sick for those who, as we hear through the letter of James, are called to follow that order. Are there any who are sick among you? Let them send for the priests of the church and let the priests pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. 